Hi, my name's Jackie and I'm at Vaucluse House in a kitchen that was built in 1828. That's more than 180 years ago. Vaucluse House is a museum, a house museum, and you can come and visit Vaucluse House on weekends or in the school holidays. Today, we're going to be making a recipe that kids used to love when they lived here in colonial times. We're going to make baked apples. Do you like apples? I do. It's a nice winter dessert, nice winter treat because they're all warm and cosy and will come out of the oven. So what do we need? We need some apples. What we have to do is take the centre out of the apples, the core and the seeds, but then we're going to fill the centre up with yummy fruit and butter and sugar. Then we're going to pop them in a baking dish and put them in the oven till they get all nice and soft and sweet. So our first step is to core the apple. And we're going to use a very special tool called an apple corer. So you line the crown, the head of the, the apple corer, to around the actual core itself. We're going to twist and press through the apple until the corer comes out the other side. There we are, the core is in the corer. I'm just going to break this off here, like that, little snap, just to break it in half and push the other end through. So now we need to fill our apples. But of course, what's going to happen if we put things inside a hollow apple? It's all going to fall out the bottom. So this is a clever trick. We're going to use the apple core, just that half, pop it back in like a little plug. That way our, fruit won't, our filling won't fall through. Now for our filling, I've chosen some really yummy fruits. I've got some dates, all chopped up, some currants, and some sultanas, which I'm just popping inside the apple. You might want to put cranberries or apricots or figs, all sorts of things, whatever you choose. These are the sort of things that people ate in this house 180 years ago. Then I'm going to get a little bit of sugar, or maybe a little bit more, and a little knob of butter to sit on top. Now, if we pop this into the oven, as it heats up and gets hot, it actually expands and might explode. We don't want that to happen. That would be really messy. So what we're going to do is just put some little fork marks around the skin. Not too many, but that will just help release the pressure as the apple cooks. Pop it into a dish holds them nice and snugly and get on with our next one. I've got my apples done, the six of us, but I'm just going to put a little bit of water into the pan so that they don't dry out. It's about a centimetre of water. And then we're going to pop it into the oven and let them bake oh, probably for 15 minutes and then we'll test to see if they're nice and soft inside. This is the fireplace that was used when the Wentworth family lived here in the 1850s and 60s. In those days it was a really modern stove. It looks a bit different to our ones today and of course it wasn't very safe or very healthy to have a live fire in your kitchen. Let's see how our apples are going. Just remember the oven door will be hot. So be careful when you take them out. One way to test to see that they're cooked 
is to use a little wooden skewer or you could use a fork and we're just going to press into the apple itself through the middle and if the flesh is soft they're ready to eat.